It is the coldest day of the season so far, and despite the city's promise to open warming centers when temperatures dip to minus 5 degrees, they remained closed overnight. Advocates warning this is a concerning sign of what's to come. It's definitely a sense of frustration because this feels like Groundhog Day every winter and people are really struggling. Temperatures in Toronto did reach minus 5 degrees at around 1 a.m., but warming centers remained closed. The city tells us the decision to activate warming centers is made at 7 a.m. each morning, and yesterday morning the forecasted nighttime temperatures were expected to reach minus 4, which is just outside the threshold for opening. Everybody who lives in the city knows that temperatures fluctuate. We know winter is coming, but we always appear to be very, very... Um, unprepared. Earlier this year, City Council approved changes to warming center operations starting this winter season. The threshold to open warming centers now minus 5 degrees, up from minus 15 degrees last year. They will also be open when Environment Canada issues freezing rain, snow squall, winter storm, snowfall or blizzard warnings. The plan would mean warming centers are open an average 19 more days per year. It was really, really cold last night and it was it was terrible that people were not inside. Councillor Alejandra Bravo tells me she immediately voiced her concerns and was told city staff are considering adding a buffer of two or three degrees to account for wind chill. There will be a continual review of the policy. The temperature will be going up and down and what we want to make sure is that we're erring on the side of caution. The fact that people are looking into why they weren't open last night, this morning, like I think that's really important, that's great, but frankly it's still not enough. and. You know, as somebody who's working with communities who are outside, who are honestly just like really struggling, I would say there's a long way to go. The long-term solution, more shelter spaces. A new study has found a growing number of homeless people are turning to emergency rooms for shelter from the cold. Since 2018, non-urgent emergency department visits increased 24% across Ontario. People are going to look for places where they can go to stay warm and survive. Um, and hospitals are open 24 hours a day. Um, folks ride transit, we know that. Uh, some people hide in coffee shops. Um, honestly, people are doing the best that they can to survive. Warming centers will be open tonight. For City News, I'm Tina Yazdani.